Happy New Year, Burbank! You know what? I appreciate the effort. We are here at the lovely JFLX Studios. Check out the new digs. We'll have chairs next time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. But new year, new problems. And WPW wants to be a solution to those problems, specifically for tonight's telethon. That's right. Tonight, this special Trippy Mania, we are having a live telethon featuring our WPW superstars taking your calls and donations for Orphanage Pro Orphanage. <laughs> Orphanage Pro Orphanage provides the funds needed by adult orphans in the United States. If you were grown up and have no parents, an Orphanage Pro Orphanage is for you. Or if you're you don't talk to your parents anymore. It's that kind of organization Orphanage Pro Orphanage is. As you can see, we have King Desi on the line taking your calls and donations. We have Cereal Man. And of course we have Hot Ticket Dog. But, but, the, but tonight, if we raise enough money, we get to see this amazing main event. And it's all thanks to you. If we get to $10,000, we get to see Big Nasty Watts. $10,000 gold, we will see Watts face George Washington Carver's monster, the Frightened Peanut! donations. If we get $10,000 tonight, we get to see these two titans go at it. Oh, oh yes? Hot diggity dog, your phone's not working? Okay, um, shoot, where? Oh, who's, yes. funny. who's at the door? I who's didn't, at the door, Rivers? I didn't know we had a doorbell. I mean, and now there's a Google <laughs> clock. Google clock? And so... Oh. I got the speed, man. Oh, I got the speed. Wait. I got the speed. I got the fastest delivery. One of the Germans are here. Oh. And I am the fastest German alive. Okay. Oh. Oh. Apparently. Oh, I got the package here. Why are you laughing? I got the package. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 okay. So we have, we have Lou P.S. at the door. <laughs> Isaac Buckham, D.H.S. Here to serve you with the fastest and package. I, and we have Isaac Packham. Isaac Packham, Isaac Packham D. 
<laughs> Isaac Packham, DHL, yes. Uh, because DHL is the name of the company, not DHS. Anyway, so, so wait, what's, the problem is is that you, you have a package to deliver? I have a package to deliver. Okay, and you want to deliver that package, right? Much that? more faster than she does. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Watch out for lucky charm, huh? this is a wrestling show, this is wrestling. and there's and there's only one way to resolve conflict here in a wrestling show. I think we should have ourselves a match. What do you think? Yeah. Wow, yeah. get right into it. Yeah. All right, yeah. it's a have... KO at the PO. Yeah. Oh, Je uh, okay. Uh, Frank and Peanut and and Watts, I. We'll, we'll see. We'll hopefully see you later tonight. Let's get a referee in here. So, oh, oh, um, oh God. Uh, Frank and Peanut showing his brain. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll see. You, we'll see you later. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I wipe my face on your Okay, Mr. Referee, call down the middle. And. All right, enough talking. Wow. Don't you feel All that? right. Well, that is not for you. That's not your package. Well, the winner, the winner of the match gets to deliver their package, I guess. Um, let's uh, let's get this underway as soon as I get the hell out of here. This is my package. It means a lot. Don't you talk about it? with a right hand of disrespect, Riversling. Alabama Hammer, Riversling. Loopy S getting the... Oh. Oh. A package shoved by Loopy S. Oh, wow. I don't know. Rivers, what do you think of this Isaac Packham fellow? I mean, uh, I, I gotta say... Uh, I'm always going to side with uh, public servants, such as our beloved postal workers over a uh, third party, but I don't know. I, Isaac Packham does have the, uh, the height advantage, and he's, he's very proud of his German heritage, it would seem, Rivers Lane. Absolutely. He's paying tribute to one of the greats, Alex Wright. Oh. Das Wunderkind. Oh, with, a, with those, ow. Those throat chops by Isaac Packham, DHL. Oh, no. Oh. oh, wow. Went for a I, big fist. I'm not sure. Is DHL a German-based company? It is. Island? It is, Eric Parks. Oh, wow. 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 Rapid delivery. Wow. Rapid delivery combos by Lou P.S. Rocking them harder than Louis DeJoy's budget oh. cuts. Wow. Double knees to the corner. Didn't have to pay extra for that. Oh, a big cannonball. COD, cannonball on delivery, Eric Barnes. Oh, goes for the cover. One, two. Oh. Pack him with the kick out. Oh, goes a cradle. One, two. Another kick out. Oh. I need a break. Oh. Yeah, break he's, DMV. he's taking a a union based break, but Lupius isn't having it. Stepping right on the chest. Yeah. Yeah. Referee checking the yeah. Wow. Wow. You're an idiot. You're to a male wow. drop. One, two, up, oh, oh, oh. reversal. One, two, another one, two. Back and forth. Wow. No way. 
It's like Rivers, it's like there's Rivers, it's like there's no discernible difference between, you know, mail companies. Not in prices or speed. They're pretty evenly matched. Still efficiency in their delivery though. Is this good? Oh. Oh! Wow. Take down. La Mystica. Isaac Packham trying to reach for the ropes and get out of that arm bar. Isaac Packham breaking it. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, man. Big shot there. Big shot. Dustin Rhodes would be proud. This is for everybody that thinks I'm a loser. Dustin Zip Codes, huh? Oh. Oh. Dustin Zip Codes, indeed. A very speedy senton by Isaac Packham, DHL. And a flippin' senton, too. Senton's akimbo. Ramming and jamming the knee of Lou P.S. Goes for the cover. One. And a kick out. Very impressive. DH DHL. Couldn't figure out a way into my building, and they can't figure out a way to put away Lou P.S. You gotta give them the apartment code, Rivers. My building doesn't have one. No, really does. Oh, even worse. Oh. DVD. Wow. One, two. Oh, oh DHL got it. Yeah. Yeah. Won the right to deliver the, the package. Yeah, greetings from Inyo County. I don't know what their zip code is, but that was a Death Valley town. They're, they're very aware of that, uh, Isaac Packham. There she is, my smorgasbord. What's that word? Okay. Apparently the package is for Hot Diggity Dog. It's, is there something in the package for her? Oh. Uh, the, the package is, is ringing, I think. Oh. And maybe that, maybe that doesn't belong to DHL. I think that's for Hot Diggity Dog. I don't know how much time you have. They're coming for you, Hot Diggity Dog. Who this is isn't important right now. You should probably go jump out of a window so or something to get away from them. That would be fine. Why would I do that? Wait, isn't oh. that the grand, Great Branzino's music, Rivers? That is the Great Branzino, and there he is. Oh! Being accompanied by the, to the ring by the Grundle? Uh, Grundle or Dingleberry, or I don't know which is. Dingleberry. Get 
all the attention, like Batman or Craig from the fourth grade. Oh, there was a car accident. Shut up, Craig, you get two Christmases. Therefore. How does that work with no parents? <laughs> foster parents, Barnes. Oh, all okay. right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You'd now, still only have one, but okay. I hereby am going to solve the problem of adult orphans by using my absolute power within this theme show. Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. What's happening? What's happening to the DHL? The, the Isaac Packham DHL is... Some, something's happened to... Uh -oh. There's only Wait one way to cure an adult orphan. And that is to make them evolve. Evolve? Whoa. Wait a minute. He's got a, he, he's got a beard now. He looks even more Teutonic. He, he's... he's he looks like the great Branzino! You, you Bring her to me! Oh, oh, oh no, wait a minute! Oh, no. Wait a minute. The great Branzino has infected Isaac Packman is now taking hot tickety dog away! Oh no, what? Right. Kick her! Let's go! Alright, I'll see you guys later! Oh, wow, okay. I don't... I don't, I don't know what we just witnessed there, Barnes. I, like, I don't... It, I mean, there's... I don't, how, clearly this has happened in the first act of a major motion picture. Uh, yeah, well, and I don't know how he's going to light his mystical pipe without his Bic lighter. I don't know. I don't know why that's out there. Still. How's he going to make the, the ship out of the smoke? Why you... do we have another package that's just chilling here? Oh, that's a good point. That one, that one, you know what? I'm looks... not going to bother with that because the fact of the matter is is we need to focus on raising money for these adults. That's orphans. right, Eric Barnes. Adult onset orphanness. It's plaguing lots of people. It is it's a real problem. It plagues millions of people every day. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Very much so. There's so many people I know that don't talk to their parents anymore, and they technically are adult orphans now. Indeed. Uh, Jeff Peanut Butter, do you have any thoughts uh, regarding uh, the plight of the adult orphan? It's good. It's good? It's good? It's a good cause. Oh, okay. All right. That's a good cause. Wow. Well, Ooh. hey, should we check to see uh, how much money that we've... Have we got? Did, hey. Have we gotten a donation? Yeah. Can oh, get Zero Man. With five dollars? Oh, all we right. We reached the five dollar threshold, everybody. Yeah. And because we reached the five dollar threshold, that means we get to see... What do we get at the five dollar level? We get to see... Devastator 2! Oh, yeah, he's, he's earned $5. Yeah. $5? Dollars. Five dollars. Five. Look, you... you yeah. It's your, your, he, yeah, he maybe. used to do it all for the nookie, and now he's doing it for $5. Yeah, we're... Oh. Hey, now. Oh, my, well... I mean, do, do we have another? Funny. Do we have another donation? Cereal, cereal man, you're you're telling me we got six six, six dollars. dollars, everybody. Yeah. And you know what that means? That means we get to see King Desi. Hey now, King Desi, awesome. six dollars. He's the yeah. champion. You're worth six bucks, my friend. Wait, you're not you're not gonna wrestle? We have you well, scheduled at six bucks. I was I was the one who donated the extra dollar. I was waiting to see that. Well, you know what, Rivers? Um, this is awkward. Uh, you know what, uh, cereal man? Put me down for fifty cents, okay? We are at six dollars and fifty cents now, which means Devastator two. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, Pop Tart Boy is gonna. Okay, he's gonna help us. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh -oh. Pop Tart Boy gonna help us man the phones, but with that how, extra. How does he sit, though? 
you know, he will do his darndest. We have a, this is kind of a, yeah, yeah, he might. To, he'll just stand. Yeah, that's he'll better. Just yeah, be, that's not a. He's a standing guy. That's a working But table. Rivers, with my 50 cents. Yeah, did we get an upgrade? Yeah, we, we got an update on the toilet. With my 50 cents, Devastator 2 will now wrestle Terry Gordy. Oh, wow. Absolute legend, Terry Gordy. Terry Gordy. Here in Wrestling Pro Wrestling. Now this is exciting. This is going to be an exciting bout, yeah. Between uh, the natural sweetness of the squash, Terry Gordy, and the former uh, holder of the sweetest prize in all of wrestling, Devastator 2. Well, Devastator 2, to my recollection, never lost the sweetest prize in wrestling. It was... Uh, well, he, he no longer carries it around. It was eaten by ants. It was eaten by ants. This yeah. is true. The Wrestle Turkey's cheering for the veteran. It was me, because you could hear it through the microphone. Oh, and here comes. Yeah. Hey, there he is. Terry Gordy. Before this match starts, make it official to announce me to the ring. All right, that's, we, we, we did that. Okay, go ahead, Jeff Peanut Butter, go ahead. Introducing at this time, Devastator 2. I have just been informed by Devastator 2 that he has pins for sale at the merch table. Oh, oh. oh. well that's important. He has, he has one pin, ten style, ten, ten pins for one dollar. No, one dollar each. No, I did it. Five. One dollar each. Wow. Wow. Those pins are either a really good or a really bad deal. Well, do you know what this good deal is? Huh? This match. Absolutely. Let's ring the bell. We're excited. <laughs> All right. And here we go. Our $6.50 contest wow. has just that's, I mean, that's a good deal for squashes, especially this time of year. Oh, wow. A show of sportsmanship a by Terry Gordy. A show of sportsmanship, please. You don't need to shake his hand. Why do I need to shake his hand? Shake his hand or not, let's wrestle. 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 Oh. Terry again. Gordy trying for an ultra handshake, it would yeah. seem. The most respectful handshake in the game. Look at that. Look at that posture. Oh. The Devastator 2, not buying it. Oh! And he hits. It's Terry Gordy with those right hands that he calls the Devastators. He's, he's got the, the big squash rocked. Definitely squash rocking in the corner. Yeah, if he keeps hitting him, he'll hollow him out and birds will live inside of him. Well, well, Devastator 2 trying to do a hammer throw, which he calls the Devastator, into the other corner, but it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, oh I mean, that's Humongous a hammer throw. And squashing Devastator 2 in the corner, Rivers. Terry Gordy, not only a Hall of Famer, also a, uh, a blue ribbon heirloom squash. Going to be very hard to move. Oh, those are blue ribbon right hands there, Rivers. One blue loves. ribbons in every state fair between here and Tupelo, Mississippi. Devastator 2 doesn't know where he's going. Oh! A squashy splash by Terry Gordy. Big squasher in the corner. Devastator 2 
trying to get his bearings on the outside. Devastator 2 is going to take a walk. As a reminder, you can buy a Devastator 2 pin or 10 or 1 or 30. I don't need this. I'm leaving. And buy a pin while you're at it. Wow. The, the pins are a good deal. Or the, not. Uh, the pens may or may not be a good deal. Well, even if he loses five count, on, we're, we're getting our six up. Wait a minute. Oh. Look at Terry Gordy is on the outside. Gordy's going to get him. Oh, he intercepts. Oh, oh. wow. A clubbering right by Terry Gordy. Wow. Smacking him on the back of the head, dizzying him up. Terry Gordy making sure the fans get their $6.50 worth. Wait a minute. Devastator 2 still trying to leave, and Terry Gordy denying him. And Gordy setting him up. Shucks him back into the ring, and Devastator 2 just slides right out. And Devastator 2, he loves to powder, if you couldn't tell by his mesh tank top. There, there was, the two of them uh, playing a game of getting the ring chicken, it would seem. Gordy doing his best. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Uh, Devastator 2. Finally got the, the big squash off his feet. They say you can't keep a good squash down, but the squash is squished. Look, Terry, I wouldn't count out Terry Gordy, okay? He was, he's definitely a veteran. He didn't just fall off a oh. truck yesterday. Dropping an elbow on the stem there of Terry Gordy. <laughs> and another elbow right across the forehead and stem of this squash-like humanoid, Terry Gordy. Oh, leg drop again across the stem. The stem, the hardest part of the squash. Cover one, two. This squash is not squished yet, Rivers, it would seem. That's right. Can't keep a good squash down. Devastator 2 taking his time. Looking to drop another elbow. Oh! Went to the gourd one too many times. That's right. But still, Terry Gordy, well, he can. Rolls again out of the way of another elbow drop. Frustrating Devastator, too. Oh, he got, he got back up. There he goes, Terry Gordy. There's Terry Gordy. There we go. Walloping right hand. A face butt by Gordy. Oh, a body splash. That was... Larry? Oh, that was a devastator right to the face. Oh, that was another devastator. Goes for another devastator. Oh, Gordy is... Will he go for a third devastator, Rivers? I mean, look how low his center of gravity is. That's impressive. Good. It looks like he's, he's going to try to slam the Gord. Oh. Whoa! Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh. Oh. Let's cover one, two, squash! Here is your winner, Terry Gordy. Uh, you can go ahead and count to 30, Gordy. Wow. Got it. Gordy, Gordy can't, got a few extra innings there. Uh, it's within the rules, I, Devastator 2. I, Yeah, I wish there was a word for when a wrestler loses in such demonstrative fashion. You know, I wish there was. I, he you know, squished him. He or squished him. He splashed him. He splashed him. There's some splashed word. I, I don't know. It's escaping me. Squash? Huh? Squash? Squash. Yes, he squashed him. Yeah, he got squashed, I guess. Well, Terry Gordy getting his well-deserved kudos from the Wrestle Turkeys. Yes. As Devastator 2. 
Limited edition pin. Oh, God. Wait, is there just one pin? There's only one that's limited edition, but the rest are normal. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe there's just one pin. Well, folks, uh, Devastator 2 approaching the merch table to advertise his wares. Oh, wait, you have to, maybe you have to pin him to get the Oh, so, so Terry oh, Gordy can have Terry one. Gordy should have the pin because he pinned But him. none of us can? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is this. Orphans, Orphans. of an adult nature need our help. Yes. Of any, I mean, you know, any, all adults need help, but particularly adult orphans. And all that, wait, oh! Oh, there goes. Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. She broke loose. Broke free, but something, something weird is happening with her mouth. Much like in that movie film. That oh I saw. yeah, she's got the, got the, the, the thing with the face. Uh, hot diggity dog. Face away. Wait a minute. Who's? Oh, yeah. who's no. this figure? The what? 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 What are you talking about? I don't know. I... Tricks are for kids. I don't know what you're talking about. But there's this mysterious figure in the ring. I am. The orifice. That's a weird I name. I am here to present you with a proposition. With this pill, it will lead you to all your dreams. A beautiful journey to a beautiful place. No, that, that sounds right pleasant. With this pill, this will indeed be your choice. Whatever happens will happen. Okay. That's, uh, that's a ominous choice. Rivers, there's something kind of familiar about this guy. I, don't, I, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if I want to take either of these. I don't, I don't trust this. What? Take the pill? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 That's Phil Cosby. Oh, it's... Oh. Just so easy. Oh, no. no, don't take either of them. Don't take the pills. Run away. <laughs> I'll take the pill. Watch you. <laughs> well, easily, just simply pop the pill. Wait. She, okay. I took the floor and the pill. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, wait a minute. He took the pill and... Oh, no, well. Oh, well, uh, good, good riddance. Just, got, just got out of jail, Burbank dreaming. Uh, Guess who's back, Cassies? Oh, oh just, God! Uh, Get her! Get her! Oh, no. We will claim Hot oh, Diamond. Hot Diggity Dog, diamond. No dog getting chased by. Now. Wait, Serial Man! A massive box put by Serial Man and a stunner! Ow. Pop Tart Boy running interference as Serial Man saves Hot Diggity Dog from a fate. Oh! A box put onto the great Branzino by. Oh, thank goodness that Serial Man and Pop Tart Boy uh, saved Hot Diggity Dog. We don't even have any. I was still. Wait, where'd they go? They this was all part of my plan. Sure Behold my consolation prize. Wait. If I can't hot, have hot diggity dog, I will have orifice. No, oh, God. Uh oh, well, orifice. Orifice got. He's got. He the, got. He got Branzino. Oh no. He got Agent Branzino. That's correct. You should not take pills, everybody. Unless prescribed by a physician. Before this night is over, wrestling pro wrestling will just be me. 
Wow. Okay, bye. Oh, that was, what a, what a promise. Yeah, that, that was a promise. That was an ominous promise, Rivers Langley. I love ominous promises. Ominous promises? Oh. I actually opened for ominous promises when I was in high school. They were an Imagine Dragons uh, cover band, weren't they? Absolutely. Mm, the ominous promise. Well, uh, since, uh, since we don't have any uh, callers, yeah. or excuse me, a, a phone bank or a, is empty, uh, should we just uh, move on and do a, a wrestling show? Yeah, let's, let's do that. The, or, the orphans right. will be OK. Uh, Jeff Peter Butter, why don't you do your thing? I think. At least I think so. Oh, actually. Oh, wait a minute. That music means one thing. Gentleman Jervis is here. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, he's got a he's got a big. Uh, Look at that. He's got a check. He brought in some adult orphans. Oh, and he's got the orphans. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes, go go forth and say hello. Oh. Yes, go say yeah. hello. Away from me. Hi, orphans. Hi, everybody. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. We got a bunch of orphans here. Saying hello to the rest of... These are the orphans that your donations will receive. I was mistaken, everybody. The telethon moves on. Hmm? Yes, let's 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 go into the ring. Come on. Just, just come on in, orphans. Orphan four, that's, is he, orphan number four, is orphan number four okay? All right, all right, everybody. All right, these, oh, the, yes, the camera's right there, gentlemen, Jervis, right, right, in, right in front, here, hold on. Gentlemen, Jervis presenting a, a very generous check for one hundred dollars. Wow. For orphanage pro orphanage. Well earned. Well earned. They're even more pathetic well than I imagined, Eric Barnes. Let me put this someplace safe. Oh yes, yes, gentlemen. Well, oh, can everyone hear me? Okay. Yeah. Let's hear it for the orphans. Yeah. Now, tonight is a very special night because. Yeah. Because we raised one hundred dollars for orphans, yeah. and after tonight there will be no more adult orphans. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a minute! Hey, Sneaky hey. Pete, steal! Oh, that's the sassy Sneaky assassin. Pete, the sassy oh. assassin. Oh God! Trying to steal the giant novelty check. They stomped the all orphans. of their feet. Oh, oh look, we got, a, we got ourselves a match, I guess. All right, I guess. Oh, I guess this is a, it is a too, contest. Man. I the ref. Uh, it looks like we have ourselves in round two. Uh, the ref called for the bell. It's a contest of it's some a, kind. It's a match now. I, I reckon it's it's Sneaky Pete and this ass. That the Athathan versus the Pathetic Orphans. Oh, the, the Pathetic Orphans are not doing well against Sneaky Pete and the Fathy Athathan. They're just oh. so pathetic. Oh, this is, this is just insane, Rivers Langley. I, oh, what is the other team? Is well, it the team, it's Gentleman Jervis and, and these orphans. These are not fighting orphans. These are just adult orphans. I mean, they are they are orphans, but they're Oh no! Uh oh. You don't steal from orphans, Oh no. Oh. 
gentleman Jarvis putting on his angry That's face. The world's sweetest man has turned that frown up, or that smile Russian upside down. Russian leg sweep. STO. Gentleman Jarvis with his scary mad face. That's right. Full of vigor and anger. Oh. Double spear. Wow. I've never seen Gentleman Jervis this aggressive in a WPW ring. No, oh, this is a slap on the face. Oh, and right into the orphans. Oh. Gentleman Jervis defending the orphans, defending that $100 check. Gentleman Jervis. With a schoolboy yeah, slap. Gonna say, he's going. The oldest schoolboy slap. There's another. This is the oldest school there is. I can't think of a school any older. Oh, wow. It's Sneaky uh, Pete living up to his yeah. name. Yeah. Crotching oh. Gentleman Jervis in this impromptu contest. Sassy assassin with a headbutt. Oh, and another. Sassy assassin with a 1999 reference right into and a the, follow up. Right into the Wait world's a sweetest plug. One of the orphans is up and. Heart attack! Wow. By the sneaky snakes. Wow, Wait, he's already an orphan. A, he didn't need a heart attack, too. Oh, oh. oh there's another one. Another orphan. Oh, wow. A 3D. Oh, no, not another. Orphan number four. Not orphan number four. He's the weakest one. Uh, look at his shirt. It's torn. He's pathetic. He's the most orphanishest of the adult orphans. Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> um, a somewhat doomy day device? by the Sneaky Snakes as orphan number four. Oh! A sneaky kick party by the Sneaky Snakes one. Wow, the wow. Orphan, orphan kicked out. That orphan has some, some gusto. That orphan reaching deep down into his, into his parentless body. Wow. Wow, this is this orphan oh. is fairly impressive. Well, the sneaky snakes hurt his friends and hurt his pride. Oh, beautiful spine buster by another orphan. He's going for the orphan's elbow. Wow. Oh, oh. he wasn't able to artfully dodge that. My lord. That was an Oliver twist there, Rivers. Yeah, it was a twist. And oh, oh he's going for a macho, oh. wow, macho orphan elbow. The orphan at Warrior. He's he's the ultimate orphan. Orphan four. Goes for a splash. Wait a minute, battering ram time. A disrespectful disciplinary splash by Gentleman Jarvis, who's... Wow, they're using Gentleman Jarvis as a weapon. Oh, a battering ram. Oh, a Gentleman Jarvis with those turnbuckle torpedoes. Just ramming both sneaky snakes into the corner. <laughs> Gentleman Jervis. Taking them for a meeting of the minds. Goes for the cover. All the orphans joining in. Oh. Wow. Here are your winners. Gentlemen Jervis. 
Wow, the dirty, disgusting, pathetic, sad, uh, pitiable street urchins are celebrating with gentlemen well, well, what, a, what a great celebration. They should have. Uh, Well, these teenage, well, no, actually, adult-aged mutant regular orphans helping Gentleman Jervis to victory, it's saving... I don't, I don't think they're mutants, Eric. Wait a minute. They're just adults. It's adult orphans. Now, with the power of orifice coursing through my mechanical veins, behold the true power of Branzino on this specific parody show. No! Oh no. Oh, is he? What's Brand? No. He's infecting he's all the orphans. All the orphans in the ring are. What, you might ask, is better than one Branzino? Two! What is better than two Branzinos? You know the answers. What is better than three <laughs> Branzinos? <laughs> Don't say it in that tone of voice like I'm just killing for time, like something's happening. <laughs> With energy, what's greater than five Branzinos? <laughs> no, you're wrong, everyone. You're all going to be Branzinos. What? <laughs> no! Oh. We'll Gentlemen, Jervis, it's been Branzinos! Or at least this neighborhood. The come, my Branzino, no! me. No, that orphan over there is now Branzino. Uh. Oh, no. Oh. Uh -oh. No, all the orphans are, and even the sneaky snakes have turned into Branzinos. So, if they're Branzinos, can I get my dollar back? Now, come on, Rip. Well, because technically they've got a papa now. <laughs> now, we don't know if that guardian is legal yet, Rivers. Uh, you know. They're probably still orphans. They're, they're just, Branzino orphans, but they're orphans. I'm just saying, I could use my dollar to get uh, one or maybe lots of uh, Devastator 2 pens. This is most certainly true, it would seem. Peanut Ladies and gentlemen, the lead anchor of the Wrestling Pro Wrestling News Team and our lead ring announcer, Jeff Peanut Butter. Oh, man. I don't know. Your opening introduction is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the team of Sexy Chino and Haystacks. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait oh, a minute. No. Oh, no. I see something special. I see something for somebody's birthday. What? Oh, God. Sexy Chino with a birthday balloon and, and Haystacks with a birthday rose for somebody special out here in the crowd. Then a sexy dance by Sexy Chino. Wait. Sexy Chino and Haystacks doing a dance. Giving some love to our birthday guest. King Desi teaming up with Roxanne. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Sexy Chino. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. King Desi and Roxanne came from the back. They popped the balloon. Oh, Chino popped the balloon. 
Or is attempting to. Oh, oh. the haystacks. Really? And the birthday brawl has begun on the outside. As our special birthday guest is now balloonless and presumably roseless. Oh, this, this match is, wow. Uh, uh, there's action in this match before it officially started. Hey, Sax isn't even in the ring. Referee trying to restore order. As the match officially begins. Hey, Sax already doing a number on Roxanne out there. That, King Desi doesn't only want to ruin things for orphans, he wants to ruin birthdays, Rivers. Our WPW champion is off. Meanwhile, look, they signify the passage of time. No one likes to really think about them. I'm fine oh, no. with them being destroyed. Well, as Sexy Chino wails on his brother in the ring, Roxanne is wailing on Haystacks on the outside. I think Haystacks... Haystacks might be, uh... Might be down for a debate the about birthdays rages on outside the ring, whereas inside the ring, our former WPW champion, Sexy Chino, is taking his brother around the world in 80 turnbuckles, it would seem. At least four of them. Made it around the world, Rivers. And down goes Desi. Sexy Chino, thank goodness he has an advantage. Sexy Chino better keep hitting him because his partner is down and out. Yeah, I was about to say, Rivers. Haystacks is down. And it's hard for him to get up being a, uh, a man of 90 degree angles. That's right. Oh! Desi reverses the slam. There he is, the king of Monrovia. The most glorious man in eastern Los Angeles County. Oh, wake up, Rivers. Come on. If he's a king, I'm Look at that. Uh, king size slam. Rivers just goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out by who many are saying is the, is the cheated champion, Sexy Chino. Chino leaping for a hot tag that didn't exist. Yeah. Rivers, if King Desi's a king, then I'm the Emperor of Empire Bowl. Come on, one, two, three, come on, get him up. Referee not allowing King Desi to choke his brother out in the ropes. Haystax uh, still has not returned to the corner. Desi makes a tag to Roxanne, one of the roughest and tum toughest tumblers here at WPW. There we go. A killer splash by Roxanne. Goes for the cover. One, two. Very Say what close. You I think this one's just a matter of time, Eric Barnes. They're going to wear him down. Oh. Sexy Chino has gotten out of scrapes like this before, Rivers Lange. He surprised us before. There we go. But at the same time, I can't fault your logic. Oh, no. Oh, and Haystacks. Big boot straight to the alfalfa. I got to admit, it's a smart move by Desi and Roxanne. Keeping Haystacks out of the ring and out of play. One, two. But they have to compete against the never say die heart of Sexy Chino. Haystacks just kind of lying there. Haystacks should go back to his old job of being the uh, barrier at a go-kart track. That's about all he's good for right now. Oh, will you stop, Rivers? Although I have to admit, Haystacks did get rocked by Roxanne. And is still dizzy on the outside. This is, a, this is just a foregone conclusion at this point. 
They're just having fun with yeah. sexy Chino. Just stomping a mud hole and washing it wet. And another splash. Oh! Oh, and with both competitor, competitors down in the middle of the ring. Roxanne makes the tag. Chino going for Gino. the corner, but oh, still no. not quite there. Not quite there. Going for the extension. A last ditch effort kick by Chino, and he makes oh. the tag! Here comes Haystacks! Oh yeah, the hottest tag in wrestling. Here it comes. Any minute now. Oh yeah. Haystacks got in. Ass over the oh, jug. God. He did it. Just a bunch of good old boy Larry's by Haystacks. Taking down both of his opponents. Haystacks charging up the wrestle turkeys in the crowd. Meanwhile, Roxanne. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I don't know if that's going to work. Are we having a belly bump off? Rivers, we're having a belly bump off. Two of the greatest bellies in the business. Both competitors evenly matched, just ramming each other back and forth. Haystack's going forward. What's. Who's going to get going? here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, think Desi grabbing the ankle. Sock on the face, but oh, oh, oh my no. god, no! Haystacks. An old school high low by Roxanne. Oh! A beautiful body sent on. Squashing. Here are your winners the team of Roxanne and the wrestling pro wrestling Russell Turkey champion, King Desi. Well. The birthday brawl ends, sadly, with uh, Roxanne and the WPW champion getting the W. <laughs> the winner's having some choice words with the birthday person. Wait a minute. Oh! Uh, A scepter to the skull by King Desi. Truly showing uh, look, his he's wishing him happy birthday. Oh. Isn't that so cool of him? Oh. 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 Our, our champion talking to the birthday guest. Guest. That's awesome. Happy birthday, y'all. You got, oh, you got a birthday greeting from the King of Monrovia. Oh, Rivers. What an honor. And there he goes. Yeah, the Wrestle Turkey champion Our showing his glorious, true colors. Glorious champion. Holding the 98. Heading key. back to eastern Los Angeles County where he is truly appreciated. Uh, taking back goes. that 95,000 tons of gold. All the way back to the Golden Corral right there in Monrovia. Meanwhile, sexy Chino hurt in a bad way. Haystack showing concern for his partner. Haystacks doing its darndest to, to exit the ring safely. One of the biggest challenges in his career. Oh, uh, there he's out. He oh, did it and oh, 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 oh. oh he's, yes. The, the he's hey, okay, folks. The Hey Hood dream has come true. He made it out of the ring. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Oh, wait. Sexy Chino. Oh no. He's okay too. No, wasn't the scepter enough of a hit? Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh. Lord, I thought he was about to dance, but instead he's well, just unconscious. Well, Sexy Chino. No! Sexy Chino's heart is dancing even when the body is weak, Rivers. Even when he's been walloped by gold and jewels, the man cannot stop gyrating. It's disgusting. It is it is inspiring, Rivers. We Langley. hate it. Oh, we love it. How dare you? I hate it. 
Well, of course you hate it. Well, I think I I I received some, everyone. I received notice in my ear. We're up to we're up to five thousand dollars in the wow. telephone, everybody. Five thousand dollars, despite not having any telephoners. Yes, it also references cellular things. Well, and also five thousand dollars. Yes, I appreciate. The Wrestle Turkeys have always been supportive of WPW commentary, and I thank them. Why for are you arguing with these people about math? They're I'm barns. not arguing anything. I'm trying to introduce the lovely and wonderful Jeff Peterbutt. Your next contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it is for the Wrestling Pro Wrestling Mid Card Championship. Yeah. Oh wow! That's what five grand gets us. Introducing first. The challenger from Compton, California. Compton Cowboy Curtis. Yeah. All right. He he was considered, I believe, the uh, last time I was here. That's right. Compton Cowboy Curtis impressed WPW officials in a four-year consideration match two shows ago. The last show, he had an impressive bout against the mid-card champion, so much so that he gets a rematch again this month. Compton Cowboy Curtis, a favorite amongst the Wrestle Turkeys. Representing the long tradition of, uh, of horsemanship down there in South Central LA. That's right. It's actually what Compton used to be was a horse ranch. And his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Tuco El Sincario, he is the wrestling pro wrestling mid card champion, Fidel Bravo. The side pony homie, our mid card champion, Fidel Bravo, being accompanied by Chucho El Sicario. His right hand man and left hand muscle. Wow. I don't like their tactics, but at the same time, I can't deny. We went for a pre match kick in the shins. I can't deny the. I can't deny the uh, the continuity and the effectiveness of this two-man wrecking crew, Rivers. They got Fidel a championship. Always excited to see what Fidel Bravo can do by himself, absolutely without the assistance oh. of anyone by the ring. Oh, come on, Rivers, you can't buy that. Fidel, that's the shame, Rivers. Fidel Bravo is talented enough that he could win the Midcar Championship on his own, but he chooses to get Chucho El Sicario to do his bidding for him. The Wrestle Turkeys, the Wrestle Turkeys behind Compton Cowboy Curtis. And great historical reference, by the way, Rivers, talking about is. Compton. That's right. Oh! Oh! A club into the back by Fidel Bravo after the distraction by True Trail Sicario. I'll say this though, Rivers, Fidel Bravo, in spite of his tactics, is a fighting champion. Winning the belt two shows ago and defending it last last show. Series of strikes, knees and forearms by Bravo. An appropriate lariat and a back elbow by Curtis. Goes for the power. Cowboy Curtis. Of Bucking Bronco Body Slam. All the way from South Central of downtown. Got yourself a 
Oh, come on. Chucho Sicario distracting and breaking the rhythm of Cowboy Curtis. Misses the splash of the turnbuckle. Kick to the leg. And Bravo picked a body part. Oh, right on the hammies. Oh. DDT stretching the hammies, stretching the knee joint, the killing the calf, wow. ramming the ankle, goes to cover one, two. You can bruise a heel, too. It's a very effective move. Bravo working on that leg. And a toe hold applied. Stretching tendons in the ankle and the knee, all along the leg rivers. Well, you know what you do with a horse with a bum leg, right? Oh, come on, rivers. Cowboy Curtis isn't ready to die yet. You yeah, take him out back. The Bloodsoe's yeah. Barbecue in Compton. Oh, that's what they do. Chucho El Sicario beating up Cowboy Curtis as Bravo distracts the referee with the wrestle turkey. Goes for the cover. Wrestle turkeys are behind Cowboy Curtis. He ain't ready to be taken to the back of the shed to get shot like a horse, like you implied, Rivers. Wow, wow. These children really hate Fidel Bravo. Two young wrestle turkeys, totally, uh, uh, totally talking down Fidel Bravo. Even I know what that word means. I was going to say, I like Fidel Bravo, but that was, fucking, that was pretty fun. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Oh, Chucho Sicario once again. Wow, the ref? Attacking Cowboy Curtis by I, Fidel Bravo. I was going to say, the ref might want to eject these adorable children. Oh, don't those are adorable wrestle turkeys. And those wrestle turkeys, they got good instincts. Fidel Bravo is that thing. I think that they're they getting said. cranky, Eric oh, Barnes. Wait, wait. It's past their bedtime. Oh, come on. How's it covered? It's a weekend. They're allowed to stay up, Rivers. Now, yeah, Curtis fighting back. Shotgun drop kick. It's not going to be By enough. Fidel Bravo. Cowboy what? Curtis just does. He might be down. He's, he just doesn't have it. Cowboy Curtis has been taking a lot of punishment, but like I said, can't keep him down. Fidel Bravo calling for a roundup. Maybe going for a figure four, and ah, oh, gets kicked to the corner. Curtis gets him up. All right. A little bit belly to belly. A little bit of light shining through. But Curtis is so dirt damaged, I don't know if he can take advantage, Rivers. Both wrestlers down. Struggling to get up. Curtis. After Curtis's massive back. Oh! Curtis going for a series of rights. Goes over, shake it up, oh, okay. go! Flip, flop, and fly! Lariat! A flying lariat by the Cowboy! Wow. Cowboy Curt is fired up as he goes for the cover. Two. I don't like his tactics, but I can't deny the fire within Fidel Bravo, Rivers. Curtis thinking of taking him out to pasture, but oh no, that knee, knee gave out on him. The knee that he was working on. 
Textbook DDT goes for a cover. One, two. Curtis, in spite of the injury, still in this thing. Still in his, and it goes, oh. Fidel oh, Bravo getting frustrated. Arguing with the ref, wait, he's directing traffic to Chucho El Sicario, asking for that mid-card championship. Bravo's gonna throw the match. Wait, wait. while the referee's back is turned, Chucho Googles him. Oh, and a shot to the Rocky Mountain Oysters. Oh, a big spear! One, two, we're the champion! champion! Here is your winner, and you, wrestling for us on Nate Ah, Faye Stumpty. Doing a celebratory two step as he earns the cheers from the Wrestle Turkeys tonight. A mid card champion we can all be proud of, Rivers Langley. Wow! That's very impressive! Wait, wait, what? Rivers? I am the great Ribzino! Oh, Zeno. It was very impressive the way he won that belt. Hey. Now he's hit the big time. Oh, okay. Well, while while we while while we figure out what's what's happening here, we're gonna take a five minute intermission. Yeah. Wow, we love it. Hey, dude, Cereal Man here with Slam Jams, the South Sananda Valley's number one beef fruit snack. Here to tell you, snap into it, brother. Oh, a royal treat? Oh, so sweet. Only the finest for the king of Monrovia. Slam jams. Slap into a slam jam. Slap into a slam jam. Oh, yeah. Come on down to General Soso's, Bella Garden's number one Chinese buffet and mahjong parlor. We have over 45 delicious dishes from the Orient, from Kung Pao to Egg Fu Young, hot sour soup, spring rolls, dim sum, and then some. Here at General Soso's, children under 12 and senior citizens 65 and up eat half price. Remember to mention Wrestling for Wrestling and get a free fortune cookie. Add some spice to your life with General Soso's. Thank you for coming and uh, thank you for enjoying. Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest is a tag team bout scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Wrestling Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Wow. Introducing first, they are the reigning and defending Wrestling Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Two man. Oh, the two-man gang come back. Wait a minute. Those two, the two-man gang. They, they look great. They, they women go crazy for a shock-dressed man. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this, the great rib, Zeno. I, it, well, the two-man gang, they tonight they look dressed like, I don't know. They, 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 they look and feel very reloaded. They look like they're looking for some touch. <laughs> well, the WPW Tag Team Champions. You knocked me off with your cheap sunglasses. <laughs> well, all right. The, at least the, at least the two. Uh, the champions are on theme for this evening, it would seem. This is how we dress! 
Now introducing at this time their challengers, the rubber team of baby. Rubber Baby and <laughs> Leather Daddy. Rubber Baby. Rubber Baby and Leather Daddy, the fighters of FetLife, challenging for the tag title. Thanks to, uh, we're at 70, $7,500 in our telephone for Imbrazino. Wow, and they look incredible. Oh, wait a minute. Rubber Baby and Leather Daddy, they, they also look like something from, I don't, I don't know. I didn't plan this, bud. I, I'm just here. I don't have their phone number. Well, the two-man gang aren't, aren't too happy that Rubber Baby and Leather Daddy uh, are dressed like, uh, well, dressed like twins. They dress like they just came from the Balladies. Well, they look like ghosts to me. From some sci-fi technological kung fu movie. Oh. The rubber baby having a hard time disrobing. Babies always have trouble with their clothes, it would seem. The referee admonishing the champions. Oh, oh, okay. Technically, they just did. I mean, they did. They did. They did do that. As they th as they threatened to admonish me, they admonished me. In so doing. Well, titles are on the line. Being presented to the challengers. Got to be careful. No, no, no. no. Yes, rub them on your genitalia. Oh man. man. Them well, okay. I don't know if I, I play them like a fuzzy guitar. <laughs> I'm not sure. What are you doing, Perfusino? <laughs> what is happening? Have you never heard of ZZ Top? I have, but this is not the reference that we're doing, apparently. <laughs> but I have a big beard, and I'm dressed like a cowboy. But they aren't. <laughs> I get it, though. <laughs> It's all I can think about. It's all you can. Th all, it's all you can think about. <laughs> Rio Grande Mud. Great I, album. Trace Amigos. Great yeah, album. Yeah, I, Ring the bell. And well, the, the champion looks like Rubber Baby is starting off. Rubber Baby, Leather Daddy, getting clap happy with the wrestle turkeys. Now, two man gang, a, a fan of synchronicity. He will, he will punch the baby. Yeah, he will, he will punch the baby. I appreciate you avoiding any copyrighted songs at this time. Two man gang admonishing Rubber Baby to become a rubber man. Collar elbow tie up. Collars and elbows tie up. Now, this is most certainly true. Riverino. We're strong men. You're a little baby. Yeah. You're not fully You're grown up. Your head is up. You're grown up. You're grown up. You're grown up. The wrestle turkeys. Insulting the maturity of the two-man gang. He doesn't have one. Oh! Double atomic drop by the two-man gang. Oh! And a reverse one as well. Double boot to the belly. That's how wrestling works, Two Man Come Gang. On. Give it to me, big boy. That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> Leather Daddy. Oh no. Oh, but as oh. we know, he loves it. He, he loves, loves it. it. Now, Here we go. Leather Daddy begging for 
give it to him again. <laughs> the impenetrable perineum of uh, Leather Daddy. That's his whole thing. That's his whole thing. Gives him powers. Double noggin knocker. And a house of fire. And a trip by Leather Daddy. Leather Daddy uh, showing off his powers, I guess, to uh, the two man gang. The smelly butt of Rubber Baby, not not too pleasant against the two-man gang. And another not so pleasant uh, thing happening to him now by uh, Leather Daddy. How did this happen to you, Rubber Zeno? Well, well, this is happening. Oh, he's getting the poopy on his face. <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't just referring to. It's mostly referring to you turning into this cackling uh, ZZ Top reference. Jesus, just like Chicago. Oh, uh, well. I presume that's a song. <laughs> the third album. It's their Trace third album. Amigos. Oh, okay. I need to know. I need to Amazing vote up on my record. One of the seminal works of Texas white man blues. You know? Oh, no! Oh, there get the. Speaking of white man blues. Oh, no. They're going to be experiencing it because. He ripped his head off. He ripped his head off, <laughs> revealing. The monster within the mask of Rubber Baby. Oh, that boy's terrifying. Well, the two-man gang looks like they pooped their pants too, River Arena. Oh, whoa, whoa. Leather Daddy trying to get control back. Calming and soothing Rubber Baby with the mask and all. Oh, that chilled him out. Oh, it's just... And a, the baby's sorry. He's just giving a nice hug. As the two-man gang try to sneak up. Well, two-man gang got big boots and stunners, and they know how to use them, Riverina. Oh, and a double Riverina. stunner. Double star. From Tejas. Well, champions retain. Here are your winners. And still, wrestling ball wrestling. Rubber Baby and Leather Daddy will live to fight another day. As, as the two-man gang successfully defend their tag championships. It's a beautiful right here. Beautiful and funny. It is beautiful and funny. Well. Wow. Rubber Baby and Leather Daddy. Oh, no. Two Man Gang beating up Leather Daddy with their titles. Rubber Baby crestfallen and, and they're, going to the back. They're beating him up right next to the merchandise stand. You get t-shirts and such. Well. It's where capitalism happens. It is where capitalism happens. Get tea to the merchandise stand. Get thee to purchase the nice sand tea. Um, well, Riverino, I that may have been a you know a disappointing ending to uh, to a fun match, but I did. I just, loved it. I know you did. It was awesome. Yes, it was for you. For you. For everyone. Sure, but listen just, to them. They're going insane right now. They are going insane right now. As I just got this text. We made our goal, everybody! $10,000 raised for Orphanage Pro Orphanage, and you know what that means, Riverino. I have no idea. It means our main event is happening tonight thanks to all of you who came to this show and all of you who donated. Oh, man, it would have sucked to have a show without a main event, right? That's right. Well, it's a good thing we met that goal. Jeff Peanut Butter, I give you the honors. Your main event is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing first, 
That's this a thing they do. That is, is Watts. Being uh, made by a wrestle turkey. Except we can't fit another Franken peanut under the ring. No, we cannot. And there's no. Pl- oh no! Watts tearing up that peace offering made by the Franken peanut. He's not being fooled. <laughs> oh, and, oh. Is he about to get drowned like a little girl? Well, he's going to be quivering with rage. The Franken peanut. Oh, yeah. He ups- he's crying. He's crying out of anger and fear. Oh, no. The Franken Peanut just wanted to make a friend, Riverino. As the Franken Peanut laments in the corner, Watts is just wondering what to make of this. He- he's really loud for a you. I mean, the match hasn't, hasn't quite started yet. Maybe they can. They could become friends before that. Oh, Watts apologizing. Oh, denied! And a big right hand as the smash gets underway and the Franken Peanut's brain is exposed. Big fist, big shots, big slamu hits in the corner. Do you remember the street sharks? I do. That's a reference I do know. It looks like the street sharks. It does look like the street sharks. But Watts takes advantage, punching the peanut directly in the brain. That's a sentence I never thought it would say. Except the street sharks can only break balsa wood. They can't break air. Oh, no. They can't break Watts. Oh, but but look. That nunchucks. Oh. The boat chucks. The nut chucks being used by the Franken peanut onto Watts. Franken peanut. Oh, misses the dive. Watts runs up. Big bad boot and a big bad right hand to match. Both competitors laying each other out. Oh. Both men down. It proved a little 
little too much. Oh, they both look knocked out. Hey, wait a minute. Attention for some Swat reason. Swat the monsters! Claim the monsters! Oh no, the Branzinos! They're they're oh, sneaking up and go, my Branzinos! They're going to go Get and them. oh no! Get they're going to try to Branzino Watson the Franken Peanut with no. the power. Jim Peanut Butter, not of you these too. Monsters. I will be. You're doing great, I'm fellas. Wait and oh no! They're put. They're doing the Branzino spell on the boat. No! Yes. The so. freaking peanuts been Branzino. Oh wow! Oh. Who could have seen this coming? No. no. Not here. No, not here. I know. No. I hope the Brand. All the Branzinos. The great Branzino. Uh, no, not once, too! Silence, hussies! I... Now! <laughs> now with the power of these two monsters and all of my Branzinos from referees to commentators to even Jeffrey Peanut Butter I who too is now am a Branzino! He too is a Branzino. I too am a Branzino. He is a Branzino. There is only one person left for me to claim. Who is it? Hot diggity dog, get out here and accept your oh, fate. No, not hot diggity dog. I'm starting to feel left out. I haven't been Branzino. Oh, wait a minute. Cereal Man and Pop Tart Boy and Hot Tickety Dog. Oh, look at him go! Hot Tickety Dog and Cereal Man and Pop Tart Boy, they all look like they all look really cool in leather. This is fantastic. When you talk about the great moments of our industry, when you talk about glory, when you talk about everything being awesome, you're really talking about moments like these. Oh. Well, with the power of special effects and uh, and kung fu, it looks like it looks like our our heroes are fighting off against Prantino Magic. No! Hot diggity dog! Hot, no. This is what sports is all about. No! It's hot diggity dog. No! Hot diggity dog is, is she? She's turning into a Prantino too! Success. No. What do you have to say now, Pop Serial Man boy. trying to, no. Hot diggity dog. I used to be afraid, but I'm not afraid anymore. You see, the orifice told me that hot diggity dog, the hot dog would be the one. What? That you're the one. So you can't be Ramsey Note. You can't be. Because hot diggity dog, I love you. Oh! Wow. Wait a minute. Can you hear me, hot diggity dog? I love you. Well, the power of love. Oh wait. I'm sorry. I just um, I don't like you like that. Uh. Uh, no, no, uh, no, well, it's, it's, uh, it's, to it's totally cool. 
I, I think I, I think I misread that well, situation. I don't think um, I since uh, you so much. Uh, since the power of true love. Uh, I, I hope we're still cool. Oh yeah, yeah it's. Well, yeah, no, it's gonna be great. We, cool. This is uncomfortable. Yeah, this is um, this is awkward. Uh, well, uh, the the thing is, I uh, I guess the power of uh, unrequited love uh, doesn't really. I mean, it it stopped the Branzinos from Branzinoing, but uh. Um. Well, all right. It's There's, too there. late for love. Yep. Well, okay. Um. Well, I guess we're gonna end on a heartbreak, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, poor Pop Tart. Poor Pop Tart boy. Uh, Pop Tart boy cannot be com comforted by okay, Dingleberry. All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. That, that's enough. All right, well... Well, now I'm Frank Beard, the member who doesn't have a beard. <laughs> There's nothing that makes you do the... Yeah, um... Well, that's the end of our show, everybody. We're going to end on a heartbreak. Uh, it seems that unrequited love does not conquer all. Um, Jesus Christ, please stop so I can end the show. Uh, <laughs> go buy some merch. <laughs> yes, please go buy some merch. Please follow us on social media at WrestlingPW. Please come back next month for February 25th, WPW in my house. It's in my house. In his house. That's right. In, uh, in my house. WPW in my house for next month. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much watching on YouTube and on Twitch. Thank you so much. I'll keep saying thank you, but you take care, drive safe, be well, see you next month. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye, y'all.